Come, my lovely patience, as I tell you the tale of a mortal who became a god. Our story starts with our hero Kratos on his trip to Athens, where he encounters Hydra. Using his skills as a Spartan warrior, he shreds his opponent with fast and strong strikes, which combined make for a deadly interaction. His combat experience allowed him to block every light hit while utilizing his wits and reflexes to evade monstrous attacks. Even with this much strength, Kratos is just a mortal who has to fight against a monster who is said to live in the entrance of the underworld itself. With the beast's death in his favor, Poseidon bestows his rage onto Kratos. Now alongside his strength, he had the power to beast Hydra and continue to Athens. In his arrival to Athens, he is given his last quest from Athena herself to kill Ares, the god of war. Ares decided to attack Athens in his hatred for Athena. And with Zeus' rule of not allowing the gods to fight among each other, Athena had to call upon a champion to fight on her behalf, who was Kratos. Already in the servitude of the gods, Kratos accepted this quest, but at a price. He will be released from serving the gods and will be forgiven for his past transgressions if he completes this divine mission. Even if Kratos is the hero of this tale, he is a man whose hand is stained with more blood than one can imagine. Becoming a Spartan general, Kratos' hunger grew with each battle, with his wife and child pleading for Kratos to stop. Driven by his lust for power, Kratos challenged the barbarian tribe of the east and lost. But he bargained his life to Ares in order to turn the tides of battle. Hearing his call, Ares accepted this deal and destroyed his enemies for him. In his divine mission, Kratos learned of Pandora's box, which will give a mortal the power to destroy a god. The box location is in Pandora's temples on Kronos' back as punishment by Zeus. Conquering the temple is no easy task as no one has been able to reach Pandora's box. The first man to attempt to get the box was punished by the gods to clean up the bodies from the temple and warn others with a voice that projects, I am tired of this shit. Although the temple did require a warrior talented in combat, it also demanded of a warrior of intellect. Puzzles created by a man chosen by the gods it is not a mystery as to why many warriors have fallen to it. However, Kratos is no stranger to brain teasers. In his journey to Pandora's box, he has solved many difficult puzzles, more than a warrior like him would be expected to. At the same time, there are other types of challenges Kratos face. By being able to quickly and with good control evade his enemy's attack, there is a relinquish of peripheral vision. Not being able to see everything in his surroundings didn't hinder his combat abilities. This man's brutal style of impaling, stabbing, jabbing, and penetrating of others with a climax of blood and sweat needs not be seen by others. However, this lack of vision affects Kratos' abilities to solve trickier puzzles or miss certain things in his adventure. As Kratos traveled, he learned many techniques to defeat his foes, adding these moves to a combat string made for devastating attacks. But having many enemies at the same time, and they being able to block all his moves caused Kratos' onslaught to be hampered and become mindlessly chaotic. Kratos also earned the trust and power of the other gods in his journey. Aphrodite, the god of love, gifted Kratos Medusa's gaze that turned even the biggest of foes to stone. Zeus, ruler of the Olympic gods, offered his fury to destroy his enemies from the sky. Artemis, the god of the hunt, gave Kratos the very blade she used to smite the titan. And the Hades, the ruler of the underworld, granted Kratos command of his army to vanquish his foes. With the power of the gods in Pandora's box, even Ares knew that Kratos would be a formidable opponent. To halt Kratos' progress, Ares heralded the spear's spike from Athens through the desert, impaling Kratos and killing him. Even death was not enough to deter Kratos' anger. Anger to the very god that saved and destroyed his world. Under Ares' care, Kratos was given the Blades of Chaos and told to conquer the land under Ares' name. Until the fateful day, while burning a village, Kratos killed every man, woman, and child in the temple. In his hand were the slain blood of his wife and child, deceived by the gods to kill his own family to become the ultimate weapon. And cursed by a crazy old lady, by having the ashes of his family permanently embedded onto his body to remember all of his wrongdoings. Kratos now seeks vengeance. After making his way out of the underworld, 
Kratos takes Pandora's box and faces against Ares. In the midst of battle, Ares takes all of Kratos' power. Even in this peril, Kratos takes the blades of the gods and impales Ares, ending him. With the end of Ares, Kratos is forgiven for his past sins by the gods. But the nightmare that haunts him of that very day will never go away. Nowhere else to turn to, Kratos decides to end the torment by ending his own life. But the gods had other plans for him. Upon Ares' death, a position needed to be filled. A new god of war was appointed, and that man was Kratos. This is a very entertaining story that legends say was done within a mere three weeks. The chaotic and brutal style of battle shows the power and strength of Kratos. His past life of sins and battle displays how little regard he has for life. The flow in his characteristic is controlling the flow of battle and his interactions outside of combat. But these are small blemishes to a fantastic tale full of adventures and puzzles to solve. However, this is not the end of Kratos' story as this Spartan man will continue to do what is known to many as the impossible. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the episodes and let me know what you think about this episode down below. Did you like the weird storytelling uh, vibe or do you want a more regular episode or should I try to combine both into like one thing? Let me know down below. And as always my lovely patients, thank you so much for watching and tune in next time.